as a bit of a review, I've ha I have this equation on the board. This is a one-step equation. Our terms in, the, in this equation are x. There is an understood positive sign before that x. The next term starts with the next positive or negative sign. So this is a term. And lastly, this is a term with an understood positive sign. Our variable in this problem is this x. Variable meaning it could change its value. We don't know its value at this point. That's why we would be solving. And if it was, if this was not equal to anything, if this was just an expression, the x could be a variety of, of um, numbers. If it were se 7 added to 6, we would have 13. If this was 1, this combination would only be 7. So the letter is called a variable until we actually make it equal to something, and then the variable will just have usually one answer to it. So our letter is called a variable. 6 is a constant. Its number is absolutely 6. That's all. Our variable can, can change depending on other aspects of the equation, but this number, 6, is, is solid. The idea here is to put the like terms together. We have like terms, but they're on either side of this equal sign. So in order to solve for our x value, we want to isolate that value, having it be on one side of the equal sign and all of the numbers on the other side of the equal sign. We're going to pull off of our, our constant first, reversing it with the inverse operation. This is an added 6 or a positive 6 in this case. We're going to subtract it. But the law of equality says if you subtract something from one side of the equation, you also have to subtract it from the other side of the equation in order to keep equality. Plus 6 minus 6 basically eliminates it from this side of the equation because it turns to 0. And that eliminates 0 answer, eliminates any other addition or subtraction. So the only thing left over here on this side of this wall is an x. That's going to be equal to whatever 19, a positive 19 and a negative 6 works out to be. In this case, it's 13. So our variable now has a value. It is 13. And if we were to take the, the value that we solved and put it back into the original equation, here I'm going to substitute the 13 for the x value. 13 plus 6 equals 19. And that is true.